What is going on world? I am the Hungarian Experiment and welcome back to the Neurohacking Experiments. If you guys have been following along the journey, this is the fifth video in the series where I am covering how uh, I'm trying to enhance my brain I'm trying to enhance my cognitive function using Ben Switzer's unique cognitive enhancement uh, program. So I just finished my very first assessment with Ben. I left him about an hour ago and I wanted to kind of cover what we talked about because I didn't really record anything because a lot of the aspects behind this program are highly customized and I'm not one of his typical clients so I'm not someone who's trying to use it to have better retention or have better memory. I'm using this to specifically focus on a goal which is trying to learn Hungarian as fast as possible. So there are a few aspects that are different if you then if you were trying to become a client with him So in this video, I just wanted to kind of brain dump what I what I can still remember from that meeting and Yeah, basically take you guys through because today is the very first day like we actually started today We did our first meditation and I'm going to cover the kind of aspects and the things that he's implementing and I'm gonna have to do in my day-to-day -day life in order to enhance my brain we're experimenting with my brain now this is absolutely crazy so last week he sent me an assessment tool basically it was like a whole bunch of little games that I had to play it took me about half an hour to do and some of them I, I did really really bad on or at least I felt that way and some I did really really well so that is going to pop up on the screen here while I talk it's gonna actually show you guys the results if you're interested you can pause the video here and you can actually see you know what <clears throat> the percentages mean why I might have you know a very excellent or average results in one area while I have very poor uh, results in the other area so our goal through this program that Ben is taking me through is uh, my, the goal is not to enhance every area the goal is to enhance certain areas that are lacking in terms of learning a new language so uh, again I didn't record the whole situation maybe I'll get Ben to actually sit down and take you guys through what this whole assessment means but from the assessment he created this program for me so Again, we're gonna talk about it real quick here. I do have a bunch of notes I have written down here. So first, we discuss nutrition. So uh, lucky for me, I really don't need to worry too, too much about nutrition. He's not too concerned because he knows that I eat quite healthy. I do have cheat days, I do drink sometimes. And these are kind of aspects that we're gonna be cutting out to optimize as much as possible. But he had some great suggestions like, for instance, he had a bunch there, but a few are salmon, asparagus, balsamic vinegar these are all things that are chock full of different nutrients and minerals and vitamins that are gonna make your brain function easier because when your brain has those sources there it's gonna flow the neurons are gonna connect easier so for example um, the s salmon has a lot of fat in it a lot of good fats DHA which is important for your brain your brain needs it uh, asparagus has a lot of folates which is like energy for the brain and when you don't have a lot of folates this can lead to kind of can lead to depression. It can increase the onset of depression. So uh, having folates increases your mood. It makes you appreciate life a little bit more, which makes learning things easier. Um, again, I don't know a ton about the brain. Ben is the expert here, but these are just some of the examples he gave. So like balsamic vinegar is also full of antioxidants, which is very important for both the brain and the body. So these foods also have a ton of other great things that are both beneficial for the brain and the body but all in all there are some foods that he suggested are going to be better for you and some foods that you should avoid if you're trying to optimize your cognitive function as much as possible and these are all foods that he has actually experimented with for himself while he was going through this situation and if you guys saw from the previous previous video he went through some serious co negative cognitive effects from the Lyme disease that he had so after he got it fixed and everything went fine for him he still was suffering from the brain injury so he had to recover from that and he found that nutrition was a big big part of it and he has done extensive research and experimentation on himself which I think is awesome I think he's a great human experiment and I'm really excited to be doing this with him 
then again, all this information is out there in the world. You just have to go and find it for yourself. You have to go and do the research for yourself. You got to find out what foods, what ask yourself, you know, is this the foods that I'm eating today? What is in this food and go do your research for yourself. If not, you can reach out to Ben, you can reach out to myself, or just hop on Ben's program and become one of his clients. Then you don't have to worry about doing all this research for yourself. He's gonna run you through it, get you on the program, and then you can learn from the examples that he gives you. So second, we lightly talked about physical activity. Again, this is another area where he's not too concerned for me, but in his programming, he heavily stresses physical activity because, again, the more you power this thing, the more it's gonna benefit this thing. And in conjunction, the more you power this thing, the more it's gonna benefit this thing. This is a whole system and it works together. So again, he knows my lifestyle, he knows how hard I go when I go when I do go to the gym. But one interesting aspect about the whole physical nature that I found very interesting is he actually suggested that uh, uh, when I go to do my meditations in the morning that I should actually do something physical for about you know anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to really get that blood pumping and flowing in the body and maybe even a minute of like high intensity um, physical activity so basically like going for a run and during that run doing a sprint or two through it and um, what he said is when you come back from that physical activity from that run do a handstand Try to hold it for a, like you can do it up against a wall, hold it, and then all the blood rushes to your head. And since you have the blood pumping, everything's flowing within your body, and then you go to do your meditation, your brain is like getting fueled through this. So I thought that was super interesting. It's definitely something I'm going to be implementing, and I'm going to take you guys through this journey as well and show you guys, you know, what is it like after I do you know, go for a run, do some sprints, come back, do a handstand push up, and then just sit and meditate for 20 minutes. Like, what is that gonna be like? Like, I feel like my, I'm just gonna be thinking so much because I'm gonna be all over the place, but that's the whole goal is the meditation is supposed to take you and really make you focus. So that way when you go into other areas in life, you go out there in the world and there are stressors around you, you can focus on what you're doing and really focus on what is important to you and what you're passionate about. So third, we talked about nootropics and supplements. Now he said this is something that can greatly enhance and benefit your cognitive performance especially if you aren't eating the greatest foods, like you need to get this stuff sourced into your body somehow. But he also mentioned that it's not 100% required through his program. He does know and understand that nootropics are costly. For instance, this one thing that I just bought here that I'm gonna show you guys, costs about $47. So if I buy three or four other ones, you know, I could be up into, you know, two, the two to $300 range just getting supplements and nootropics. Um, but again, he said like it's not 100% necessary. It's just going to enhance the benefit. And through this program, I want to get that enhancement as much as possible. I want to learn Hungarian as fast as possible. I want to prove that Ben's program can and does and will work on me. So he had a list of different suggestions, but just some stuff that he had there is, uh, so I don't even know if I can pronounce this correctly, but Ginkgo Bilbo Biloba? Ginkgo Biloba alpha lipoic acid, I've taken that in the past, uh, lion's mane, which is like a, a mushroom, that's what I have with me here, and vitamin D. So again, these are just some of the examples that he gave. If you guys wanna find out for yourself, go out there and do your own research. He also said that instead of just buying all this stuff separately, I could find a stacked version. So um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Onnit, uh, it's the uh, company that Aubrey Marcus and Joe Rogan have together and they have this thing called Alpha Brain and I've experimented with that in the past as well. I didn't really notice uh, uh, any noticeable effects but um, apparently this has huge benefits so you can either get a stack that is already you know, pre-done for you, you just have to pop how many pills they tell you and it has all this stuff in it or you buy everything separately. So as I mentioned there, I just went out and I bought Lion's Mane from like a sport nutrition store that's uh, like right next to the gym and right next to uh, where Ben and I met up. I actually got the powder form just because I think it's uh, a little bit cheaper than buying the pill form. Like this should last a little bit longer. And the lady at the store suggested taking about two grams a day. I'm gonna take whatever Ben suggests, but as you can see here, this alone, 
so the place is called S and H Health Foods. Um, this I'm not sure if it's focusing, but $47.93, so almost 50 bucks for this. And she said for her, this lasts her about a month. So just stuff to consider that if you are looking to experiment for yourself, um, nootropics can get costly. Huh? Did you want to say what's up? With the camera. RG's here. I'm recording the, the first assessment from the neurohacking. I just did it with Ben. Oh, nice. Yeah, here? so I'm just, no, we did it at Innovation Works. So I'm just trying to like brain dump everything that we talked about before like I lose it. Cool. And uh, yeah, I'm just yeah. on the meditation part. Cool. Well, it's, it's really exciting. I want to see whatever the outcome is. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Well, you've done meditations in the past and stuff, right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. And well, what did you notice from that? I don't know, like a clarity of thought, if that makes sense. Like it just gives me a clear mind. Okay. Every time when I finish a meditation, I always open my eyes and I'm like reorienting myself back to the physical world, yeah. so to speak. And, uh, and, and yeah, I don't know, it just it feels very refreshing, okay. right? Like if, if you think about it, when you're alive, when you're awake, when you're whatever, um, you're processing. So there's a lot of near uh, activities. But then when you're meditating, you're trying to stop all that, Yeah. right? So you're trying to like silence it. And so like it's that serenity that you feel physically. And it's amazing. Holy shit, eh? Yeah. So if you hear some stuff, it's just RG making some food. But, so the fourth thing that we discussed at Ben's meeting there is uh, meditation. And again, I want my laptop for this because I want to be a little specific with this part. So the way he has it structured that over the six to eight weeks that we're going to be doing this cognitive optimization program, each week he's going to be um, adding different core concepts and aspects to the program and to my daily routine. And the whole goal is that I should be mastering or getting very skillful throughout this week before the next core concept comes in. And the whole idea is, you know, we start off with light meditation for the first week. We get into this like Zen Buddhist intense meditation for the second week. So by the time I'm done the first week, I've already developed those neural pathways. I've already kind of rewired my brain and re-geared things to be ready for the next aspect of the program. And then for the third aspect and the fourth aspect. So um, from my understanding, there's like, we don't even, technically start learning or even looking at Hungarian until about the fourth week in his program. Now he said it's okay if I want to start looking at Hungarian now and start absorbing it because it's only going to help and benefit me. But technically for his program, this is how he structures things out if you were to become one of his clients. So I think this is very unique and it's very interesting because <clears throat> I notice a lot of other programs or coaches or people out there in the world, they kind of just dump everything on you and say, here's all the information, go and learn it. But they don't build you up and teach you the things that you need to learn so you can learn and understand the next part of it and the next part of it. So I think Ben's handling this program just amazingly. So he took me through a 15 minute meditation. He basically guided me through the, the whole scenario and the whole purpose behind it was that this was supposed to teach me how to be able to meditate and do this for myself. So he took me through just normal breathing. He got me to, you know, like sense and feel my toes and then my calves and my quads, and my legs and worked all the way up to my, to my head. And then he got me to do like controlled breathing and he kind of fluctuated in between these. He also got me to do um, during this controlled breathing, the four block system, I believe it is. And this is some of the stuff that I'm going to be discussing in upcoming videos and how am I meditating? What am I doing when I'm meditating? What am I thinking? What's going through my head or what's not going through my head? So those will all be upcoming in future videos. But over time, he also wants me adding stressors into it. So I kind of told you earlier about the whole going for a run before, then doing a handstand to allow all the blood to flow to my brain. Another aspect that he wants me to uh, implement and, and experiment with is while I'm meditating, once I have it down and I've, you know, I've, I've become skillful at it to then douse myself with cold, like very ice cold water and to do uh, controlled breathing in uh, like cold showers. And the whole aspect of this is that um, if you're, if you have stressors that are going on while you're meditating, when you actually go out there in the world and there are natural stressors from life just happening to you, you can still focus on what you're doing and what's going on rather than being distracted by all these other things happening to you.
So it's kind of like building you up to that. Now, if you've been following my journey, I have lightly experimented around with meditation and cold showers in the past, but for myself, I didn't see any kind of noticeable results. So over time, after about two to three weeks, I kind of just gave up on them. But now that I'm hopping on a solid program that someone else is, and I've also seen, you know, like Arthur, I've seen how Ben meditates, I've seen how Daniel meditates, and I see the benefits that are coming to them, I really want to implement this into my lifestyle and, and make it a part of my daily routine. So uh, I, I want to really push this to the test. And as I mentioned earlier, I want to prove that Ben's program can help me to learn Hungarian faster. And I can absorb these other aspects, like learning how to meditate, and actually carrying it on into my life. So he suggested two meditations a day, one in the morning and one at nighttime, anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes. I told him I want to dedicate like a whole hour in the morning to this program. So for the first couple weeks, it might be about a half an hour, 45 minutes to an hour's worth of meditating. I might split those up. I don't know how I'm going to exactly uh, structure it 100%. I'm going to experiment around and learn. But um, he again, he suggested two meditations. My goal is to meditate three times a day or just increase the hours that I actually meditate. So if he's saying two at 15 to 20 minutes, that's about half an hour to 40 minutes. I want to be doing an hour to an hour and a half of his program every day. Because as I mentioned, I really want to learn Hungarian and I want to prove that this works. Well, there you have a world. Neurohacking experiments have officially begun. Today was the first assessment, the first meditation we did together. Uh, I have a meditation I have to do tonight. I'm going to start taking this lion's mane today. And he actually, something I forgot to mention earlier is he really hinted and suggested and recommended taking green tea. So I'm going to be drinking green tea twice a day. That's something I have to go pick up after I have my shower here. I literally left the gym and came. Uh, met up with Ben, came straight here to record this video before I forgot everything. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for following along my journey and supporting this neurohacking experiment series that we have going on. I'd really love if you guys go follow Ben on Instagram. It's in the description box below there. He's doing some amazing things here in our city and I absolutely love seeing people who are passionate like he is. People who have experimented with themselves and then is going out there in the world to help others. I think it's absolutely amazing. I love supporting him, his cause, and anything he's doing. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go smash that like button. Go leave me a comment. What do you think about these neurohacking experiments? What do you think about some of the, the food and nutrition tips, the, the, uh, the physical activity, the uh, nootropics and supplements he suggested that I take? Have you guys ever experimented with things like Gilgoa Bibola and uh, uh, alpha lipoic acid, uh, lion's mane. Have you guys ever experimented with this? I'd love to know, so go throw that in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video in the series. I am the Hungarian Experiment.